Okay, so I'm not gonna act like I'm not, you know, excited to do it because I am. <laughs> Eccomi. Diciamo che più che excited, me la stavo facendo sotto a quel punto. Woo! Bentornati! Allora, sì, questa cosa è abbastanza random, sicuramente vi starete facendo un sacco di domande Che cacchio ci facevi nella stessa stanza di Dylan Sprouse e Virginia Gardner? Onestamente a questo punto mi sembra di aver fatto soltanto un sogno e questa cosa eh, non è mai esistita Erano palesemente finti, o tipo un green screen, non me lo so spiegare Non me lo so spiegare neanche io, mi dispiace, mi dispiace, non me lo so spiegare Come avrete immaginato in questi due mesi che non ci siamo sentiti Oltre al taglio di capelli, che tra l'altro ho sistemato, infatti sono più corti se notate Vabbè, oltre al taglio di capelli sono successe un po' di cose sono successe un po' di cose tra cui questo incontro questa intervista che ho fatto ci tengo a precisare io non sono un'intervistatrice non ho mai intervistato non ho fatto mai cose del genere almeno sì ho fatto però mh, non sono una professionista ok quindi qualsiasi cosa siete liberi di fare critiche costruttive qui si cresce qui si impara ok e queste sono tutte scuse perché le faccio schifo mi dispiace. Comunque, io ed altri content creator abbiamo avuto la splendida opportunità di vedere il loro film in anteprima, uno splendido disastro, A Beautiful Disaster. Ok, questo era un flex. Mm. Questo era semplicemente un flex. Comunque, oltre a vedere il film in anteprima, abbiamo avuto l'opportunità di chiacchierare con i protagonisti e fargli qualche domanda, qualche cosa, qualche... tirargli fuori qualche scoop, insomma, e fargli qualche domanda generale sul, sul film. Allora... È stata, stata un'esperienza surreale, non ci sto credendo, però io non voglio rompervi troppo le scatole perché queste interruzioni così di me seduta che vi chiacchiero, secondo me vi interessano fino a un certo punto. Io mi diverto a farlo, quindi mi vedrete durante questo video, però perché non ci teletrasportiamo a Milano insieme? Sono arrivata in Duomo, come, come avete capito, perché l'ho fatto, fatto vedere. Um, ho paura che mi rubino tutto, non so perché, c'ho questa proprio paura folle che mi rubino tutto. A parte che c'era un sacco di gente in mezzo perché c'era sciopero, ovviamente, quando mi serve c'è sciopero. E niente, ora come ora sto aspettando Viola, che tra l'altro mi ha chiamato. Sono davanti a sto palazzo chiamato tipo Duomo. Eh, io calcola, sono fuori dalla, come si chiama, dalla metro. Eccola! Che sei buona! Allora, 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 pensiamo. Io adesso ho ah, esattamente 60 minuti di tempo. Il programma è andare in uno Starbucks perché non ho tempo. Mi preparo, mi cambio, cioè mi cambio la giacca giusto per quello perché non ho il tempo di prepararmi e penso che i pantaloni che ho portato si saranno tutti sgualciti quindi non mi sembra il caso preferisco i jeans piuttosto che i pantaloni sgualciti quindi andrò un po' informale non ho tempo non ho tempo perché se no sarei andata a casa di Sara non so se voi vabbè stasera vado a casa di un mio amico a dormire e non ho tempo di andarci non ho tempo di andare a posare le borse quindi devo fare tutto di fretta ho l'ansia fai bene va bene quindi adesso andiamo da Starbucks e mi cambierò nel bagno yeah. <ride> Sì, diciamo che questa giornata è stata abbastanza caotica Come avete visto, io sono partita molto presto la mattina Ho fatto il viaggio, siamo andati a Milano Cioè, sono andata a Milano, ho beccato Viola Abbiamo mangiato al volo e poi sono andata subito a fare l'intervista Ed è stato tutto estremamente rapido Infatti, oddio, volevo, volevo sistemarmi un po' meglio Dico la verità, dico la verità Avrei voluto avere un, un pochino di tempo in più per sistemarmi meglio Perché mi sentivo un po' scacciata Non lo so, come si dice in italiano, non ne ho più pallida idea Comunque, volevo fare una piccola parentesi uh, Ve ne consiglio queste, queste lasagne in realtà Erano veramente molto buone non me lo sarei mai aspettato da Starbucks Però l'accostamento caffè e lasagne Forse Forse, forse l'avrei evitato Perché forse un po' di acidità di stomaco me l'ha data questa roba Comunque poi mi sono cambiata Sto andando in bagno a cambiarmi Quindi questo Ok è l'outfit no, Letteralmente ho cambiato soltanto la giacca e mi sono levata la maglietta Niente di che Letteralmente la noia, il poco interessante, l'outfit meno interessante, poco... Ok, basta, raga, mi sta mangiando l'ansia in questo momento, quindi penso che sarò un momento in silenzio. 
e ci vediamo dopo non sono pronta bene a questo punto basta perdere tempo direi passiamo all'intervista ok so I'm not gonna act like I'm not you know excited to do it because I am I'm yeah. not going to interview and in anything and there's a lot of people in the room so I'm gonna act like they, they're not here right so I wanted to ask you some questions for Virginia yes I love playing cards mm. I'm not really good at it I just play well let's say Uno I'm really sure. good at Uno I so love Uno <laughs> I don't hard play game, all right. yeah that's a hard game and I wanted to know if you do like playing cards and uh, if you had to learn it to, to you know play poker you know beforehand well I love playing cards I mean like Settlers of Catan is a big board game in America and that's like a kind of a, a card inclusive game so I love playing that game but it's card inclusive yes I don't know why I said it like that <laughs> it's Mixed card media, inclusive maybe. What would, what would you say? Um, but anyway, I, I did take poker lessons before doing the film, so I got right. a poker coach and my dad actually plays a lot of poker, so we got a set and we would play him and I together too, which was like cute and fun bonding for me and my dad to play some poker. So if I do say so myself, I got pretty good. Okay, okay, that's nice. How about you? Do you know how to play poker? I've been to a few CD gambling dens in my life. Okay. Yeah, 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 I play poker, but okay. I don't play at high stakes. One of the main theme, let's say, at the beginning of the movie, it's unrequited love. Travis tries to get with Abby and stuff like this. And I wanted to know if in your life you experienced some unrequited love. Absolutely. There's okay. this actor called Pedro Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, it's the same right? I don't know how to do this every um, day. I don't know how to do it. I'm in love with him. To, yeah. And he doesn't I mean, know I exist. Okay. We got so much in common already. Unrequited. <laughs> yeah. Just, every day I wake up sad. I'm afraid. <laughs> I think it's gonna stay that way, I'm afraid. Uh, no, I've never had unrequited love. Must be I, nice. Yeah, sorry, I'm I mean, desired. Right. <laughs> so, for you, how did you manage to, you know, get over it? If you tried to get with him? If I tried to get with Pedro and he wasn't No, I mean, me. right. <laughs> the, the people you had a crush on. rejected by Pedro. <laughs> Oh my god, I would cry for days. <laughs> no, um, in real life I haven't broken up with. Okay. So I guess in some ways that's like unrequited love, right? right? So um, whenever I've had a breakup, I always find that like a new haircut yeah. always helps. Um, I, I get it. See, there I you mean, go. I get it. <laughs> right. A new haircut would always make me feel good. Um, and then I'd make like a breakup playlist that I'd dance around in my bedroom love it. pretty aggressively. What's your favorite songs in the this situation? Oh, um, um, Let's Thank you, song. next. I love that one, that's great. Look at the Lizzo one. Why men great till they gotta be great, that one. Okay. Good. Okay, right. Dylan, in the movie, uh, Travis has a, a real good relationship with uh, his brothers, his father, and always plays cards with them and has an activity, a like, recur recurrent activity with mm -hmm. them. Do you have one with your brother, with a family, if you get to see them a lot and... Yeah, my, I don't play much Call of Duty, but uh, okay. my brother and I play exclusively, we play it with our dad, who okay. loves it. So like he plays Warzone and he like drops in and okay. he like does the whole thing. It's the only video game that he plays. Right. So Cole okay. and I will sign on to like squad up with our dad. Right. That's <laughs> which cute. is very fun. Do you play a lot of games? I do. Mm. Yeah. I should probably not Stop. play as many <laughs> right. as I do, okay. um, but I find it very cathartic. And you, right, you know? yeah, an activity. Exactly, at least that's yeah. what I tell myself. Okay, mm. something I wanted to ask you is do you identify with your characters or are you completely different from them? I think where I um, relate to Abby is our stubbornness. I can be quite stubborn, as can she. And I think that's kind of uh, our biggest commonality that in, in she is quite driven and she wants to work hard and kind of um, create a good life for herself, which I obviously have in common as well. But I would say those are like our biggest commonalities. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I have that much in common with Travis, uh, but I will say he's very honest about who he is. Like he's definitely not hiding his personality and that can be either a good thing or a bad thing. And I feel like I have similarities in that respect where I try not to change for anyone I'm around. I'm just kind of, just kind of this guy. <laughs> Disappointing. Disappointing. Did you know guys already before like playing, making the movie or did I you I saw her do her first keg stand. Really? Yeah, well, it was uh, in New York City. It was okay. Halloween of many, 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 many years ago. Okay. You were dressed up as like a leaf or something. <laughs> I was a wood elf. Okay. okay, okay. I've told you this many times. I thought he was a leaf. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I had leaves. I was a wood elf. I had leaves on me. 
I'm not, I can't explain Anyway, that. he witnessed my first keg stand. <laughs> okay. And my only keg stand. Okay. Yeah, because you didn't do good. I did not no. do well, no. no. Right. Well, I didn't remember that I had met her doing a keg stand. Right, quite okay. rude. But she remembered you dressing up as, as, as a lead. Yeah, 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 as right. a lead. Okay. So, okay. so that was a thing. But we immediately got on like two peas in a pot. I mean, we've got similar senses of humor. Mm. She's awkward. I'm awkward. Okay. Um, we're both annoying. Speak for yourself. <laughs> See, that was an annoying thing. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to, to ask you, something I find fascinating about your job is that you get to experience something that you wouldn't do in, in, you know, in your life. And I don't know if it's the case, but did you already box before the, like, do boxing before the, the movie or did you have to practice? Do you like it? Do you still do it? Yeah, I, I took some years of mixed martial arts okay. uh, and I grew up doing Taekwondo, so I definitely knew how to did throw you know up. Doing I did. I'm not a black belt like you. Okay, I know you're a black belt. Just never heard you mention it. I, I did. Yeah, I was. I, I was not. Not very long. I did more MMA than I did Taekwondo, um, because that works actually for self defense. Cool. So, so there's a lot of Taekwondo people who are going to get mad at me for saying that. Uh, but I did know. I did know how to throw a punch. But the punches that you're throwing on screen versus actual boxing is pretty different. Yeah, right. You're exaggerating a lot of movements that will just end up reading better on camera if you right. throw your hips more or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, I have taken a lot of the training that I did there though back home. Most of the time, again, I'm kind of a sedentary guy. I lays about. I'm like a big cat. So now that I... Playing video games. Playing video games, <laughs> eating chips off my own stomach. It's just... Like, it's relatable. Cool. Pretty, pretty easy life. It's a sad sight. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really pathetic. But I've been working out more. I built a home gym. After we filmed the movie, I like built a home gym. Did so cool. Thing. So I'm getting, right. I'm getting there. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's so nice. Last question for you guys. And I think it's the most frequently asked question to uh, actors, but I feel like it's really interesting. If you have some funny behind the scenes things you wanted to tell us. Jimmy? <laughs> Well, we have a couple that I don't think I should talk about, but the, the best one was for me is uh, there's a scene where I'm, I'm late to, uh, to class and Abby's running through a field and she has to jump over someone that's in the field and then yeah. falls into mud. And yeah. when you are, get muddy, you can't go back and do the scene again because right. um, you're covered in mud. So you have one shot to get it right and I'm running, running, running and I jump and they had a background actor that was uh, in the field and I kick him so hard in the back of the head and then I fall face first into the mud and it's what's in the movie. If you watch, you'll see me kick this poor guy yeah. in the back of the head. I run. really did think that was supposed to be in there. No. The poor guy. The poor guy. <laughs> And then I think they like tried to cut away, but he was like rubbing his head because it hurt so, so it, bad. It was too. really so it I was like, an acting. Okay. I, no, I like really clogged okay. him in the head. I felt so bad. Great. Okay. So you you need to you know give lesson to yeah. my box and stuff like this. Oh, she's fine. Okay. I guess that's it. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ho appena finito l'intervista. Allora, no, parliamone. Parliamo. Io ho questo problema. Mi stavo sentendo male. Cioè, proprio tipo male, 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 male. Mi hanno fatto i complimenti per i capelli. E di la Sparos, mi ha fatto gli auguri di compleanno. Non mi sto sentendo molto bene, non mi sto sentendo molto bene. Allora, qual è il problema? Io sono una persona estremamente autocritica, ok? Quindi io so che ho fatto schifo in inglese e che ho sbagliato tutto e mi sono impappinata. Ed era tutto un po'... Capito? Però sono contenta perché loro sono stati carini con me, sono stati disponibili, hanno cercato, poi non ci sono riusciti perché io purtroppo mi stavo sentendo male, però hanno cercato di farmi sentire molto mio agio. Non lo so, ragazzi, è divertentissimo, cioè, diver cioè è divertente, ansioso, ma è soprattutto divertente. Sono molto contenta! In questo momento sto parlando tipo in tre per e dovrei smettere. Che ridere ragazzi! Comunque spero vi sia piaciuta l'intervista, mi sono divertita veramente tanto a farla. Ci tenevo tantissimo a ringraziare Leone Film Group e Prime Video per l'esperienza assurda che ho fatto. Detto ciò, io ragazzi vi ringrazio di aver visto questo video. Se volete, come al solito, lasciate un like, commentate. Come vi dico sempre, il mio video e il vostro video l'ho fatto apposta per voi, quindi sono sempre accetti i commenti. Io vi leggo sempre, sappiatelo. Se non rispondo è perché mi dimentico, però io leggo tutti i commenti. E se vi va, come sempre, un bottone, basta, per iscriversi al canale. Woo, ed è gratis Woo! ci vediamo alla prossima ah io sono in pigiama <ride> professional